Okay, so at this point we have implemented the feature to obtain an access token, but at this point we are not protecting our resources of our RESTful API, so we need to implement or to use a middleware to verify or to check the access to certainly methods of our controllers. So this middleware could be easily added into our app using the bootstrap app.php file and here we have the root middlewares. I'm going to uncomment this and just add this line here. Remember that we have two types of middlewares. We have the root middlewares and we have for example the global middlewares. These middlewares are going to be executed in every request and the root middlewares are going to be executed for the request that we specify. So let's to specify in which methods or in which requests we want to use this middleware. We have the course controller that have an index and a show method, so we only need to restrict the access to the create, update and delete. So to show our resources we don't need to restrict the access. It means that the index and the show methods are not going to use the OOUT middleware. So if we go to course student controller, we have the store and the destroy method. So we need to specify that we are going to use the OOUT middleware only for the store and destroy or basically accepting the index method. So we can specify this in the constructor and there we have this middleware and then we need to specify the name of the middleware that is out and then we need to specify which methods we are going to include or accept so in this case we are going to accept the index method that's all. Basically, we are telling to our controller that use the OOUT middleware in all the methods except in the index method. So I'm going to copy this piece of code and then go to the student controller. We have index, show, update, and store, and destroy. So we need to use the middleware in all the methods except in the index and show. So in the same way, we use the constructor and accepts the index and the show methods. Then in the teacher controller we have index show store update destroy so we need to do exactly the same. We are going to use the constructor to specify the middleware of all out for all the methods except the index and the show. And finally in the teacher course controller we have index store update and destroy so we need to specify it only for the index method. And that's all. Let's to check if it is working. So go here. We are going to obtain an access token. So use. We need to specify the values. So in the body we have grant type is client credentials. Then we have client ID that could be ID2 for example. We have the client secret that is secret2 for example. Send and we have here the access token. So suppose that we are going to show all the courses. So courses send the get. So we have all the courses. We don't need an access token. If we are going to obtain, for example, all the teachers, you can check here. All is working now. If I try a post request here and in the body, I'm going to send the access token. So we have here access token i'm going to send a random string so we have access denied because we sent a wrong access token so if i paste the right access token here we can see how the request has been accepted but of course we need the name the font the address and the profession and the same for example for the students if we send the access token we obtain this but if we remove the access token we are obtaining the invalid request if we try to remove a student for example we need to specify the id we have the invalid request so if i send the access token 
we can see how we are still obtaining this error and this is because the delete method in the same way as the patch and the put method need to receive the parameters using the xwww form URL encode. So let's to specify here, access token, send and the student with ID has been removed. That is completely right. So we can check all the other ways. So basically it is really, really easy how to include the OAuth middleware in every possible method, excepting the index and the show methods in every controller. Congratulations, you have now a completely functional RESTful API and the most important thing that is completely secure, of course, you have to be careful with your access tokens, you can use an HTTPS connection and another kind of security measures, but in this way your RESTful API is completely functional now. In the next section we are going just to solve some little details, for example the exceptions, the errors and things like that.